Coverage under Dermot Healy has been marked by the arrival on the senior stage of 19-year-old Adrian Ronan, who's hit a goal and 16 points in his last two championship matches. It's been a good spell also for Anthony Prendergast, who scored two crucial penalty goals against Wexford in the semi-final. Such was the level of commitment and scale of improvement then that the selectors have announced an unchanged formation for this intriguing time. This means that prominent young stars like Willie O'Connor at cornerback and Liam Egan in midfield are given a Leinster final debut among distinguished players like Ger Fennelly, who this afternoon appears in his 10th Leinster final. Offaly draft 24-year-old Vincent Tian in at full forward for his second final appearance. He replaces Joe Dooley, out with an eye injury. The starting 15 reflects 10 years of unparalleled Offaly success with Eugene Coughlin at fullback, Pat Delaney and Jer Coughlin on the half-back line, Joachim Kelly in midfield and Mark Corrigan at left half-forward, today seeking a sixth Leinster medal. Mind you, their average age is now 32. While among the recent star minors, John Pilkington, who shone in the semi-final win over Leash, is hoping for his very first provincial medal. And it's a fourth Leinster final for John Denton of Wexford, our match referee. And it's Offaly who play from left to right in the first half. Joachim Kelly here at midfield and travelling straight away, and that's going to be a free down for Kilkenny. They're playing away at the other end, but a free to the black and amber. Two sides have really dominated Leinster hurling in the 80s in this Leinster final. Mick Clear, the free taker. High, but to the right and wide. And so the first opportunity going a begging for Kilkenny. A very still, very calm day as Dohi Regan meets that puck out from Jim Troy. And still no score, two wides each. Mark Corrigan linking up with Declan Pilkington. John Power across there defending. Mark Corrigan high and over the bar. Beautifully over the bar. And it's the Offaly captain who gives them the lead. The sun beginning to make its appearance here at Croke Park for virtually the first time this afternoon as Roy Mannion gathers at right half back for Offaly. Went by Vincent Tian with Pat Dwyer. Good tight and concise play by Pat Dwyer, the fullback, up to Michael Phelan, left half forward. Ger Fennelly swinging it high up into the air down towards Christy Heffernan. Adrian Ronan is there too. Batted up by Martin Hamilton awaiting Richie Power looking for the equaliser. He's got it as well. So a point each. In this, the 95th Leinster final. Hill 16 back in commission this afternoon, having been out since the championship last year when it was being restructured. Pat Delaney's free. It was Michael Dignan, Sean Fennelly. It, but Dagan gets it the second time, the little chip inside. And bogey for Kevin Fennelly, keeping his eye on it. Out towards Anthony Prendergast. There too, Richie Power inside towards the inside pole was Adrian Ronan getting away for once from Martin Hanami. Linking up with Liam Egan, a chance here for Kilkenny to go in front. Egan, given an advantage by the referee, stopped by Jim Troy, the Offaly goalkeeper. Comes out to Richie Power once again, Jeff Fennelly rather. Adrian Ronan. Blocked down by Pat Delaney, Hanami backing him up, and Jer Coughlin. The 32-year-old swings Offaly into the attack once more. Breaks down to Danny Owens. Offaly seeking a lead. Willie O'Connor. John Carr here, the right half back. Nice turn inside and a change of direction across towards Michael Phelan's wing, Roy Mannion. This is Michael Dignan. Stayed forward, once again serves the ball inside, but that's gone a couple of yards wide. Roffley's seventh wide of the first half, Kilkenny had four wides, and it hasn't been a very productive opening 15 minutes. Lovely catch, 
Here's Richie Parr against Patellini. Towards Liam Fennelly. Aidan Fogarty. Patellini knocking it forward. This is Liam Egan. Locked down. Joachim Kelly sweeping it forward towards Danny Owens. Pat Duar, the fullback going across. Beaten by Vincent Tian. Stealing inside. A good chance for Offley. Taken down, but just outside the large rectangle, and it's going to be a free from the 20 metre line. So near to being a penalty. That was a very good burst forward that time by Vincent Tian. So Mark Corrigan, who gave Offley an early lead, that was cancelled out. A chance and a very good one to put them back in front, which he duly does from the 20 metre line. Two points to one. 17 minutes gone. Well, there was a real goal chance here. As we watch once again, Vincent Tian getting inside, Willie O'Connor holding him down just outside the large rectangle. John Pilkington going across, reading it well, showing fine maturity. That's back to Martin Hanami, the old star. Up towards Declan Pilkington, just trying to knock it down into the man on the 40, Declan Dohi Regan. Comes out instead to Jer Fennelly, towards Adrian Ronan. Marked very tightly by Martin Hanami, but the burst through here by Anthony Prendergast. Hooked by Jack Cochran, breaks out to Liam Fennelly. It's a goal! Liam Fennelly, the goal scorer. His first goal in this year's championship. In the 19th minute of the first half, that's fine burst forward by Anthony Prendergast. Watch as he was splendidly hooked by Jack Cochran. The ball came off the foot of Prendergast to the totally unmarked Fennelly who rifled the back of the net. Liam Egan outside to the waiting chair, Fennelly always there waiting for that ball to come his way. Christy Heffernan just gets a hand to it, a flu victim during the week, Christy Heffernan, and Liam Fennelly taken down. A nasty crack across the hand that time with a stinging shot onto the hand. And John Denton is calling across one of the awfully backs and warning him against that kind of tackle, which was totally unnecessary. And it's Eugene Coughlin who's called across, and the Kilkenny doctor in there with the treatment. And Eugene Coughlin has his name taken. This was the incident once again, and that's where Liam. Fennelly received the blow to the hand. A free on the 20-metre line. No penalty, a 20-metre free, and Adrian Ronan will tap it over the bar. It's a goal and two points now for Kilkenny. Two points for Offaly. Adrian Ronan's first score in the match. Offaly now bidding to reply. Turning inside, the helmet readjusts itself. It's again Joachim Kelly, breaking his stick in the process, but winning the free end. Tackled by Michael Clear, and the referee warning him. It's again against that kind of challenge. We saw a fully determined and persistent Joachim Kelly that time. It was a marvellous run. Corrigan's third point, two of those from Freeze, makes it awfully three points, Kilkenny 1-2, five points to three. Well, this is what you call leading by example, surely. Joachim Kelly going tearing in that time, the run just preceded that. He followed it up, broke his stick in the process as he was held by McClear. And it's Joachim Kelly once again. Inside, towards Danny Owens. Michael Dykman's there first. Linking up with Mark Corrigan. Corrigan taking it in a stride very nicely, right on the end line. Across towards Declan Pilkington. Onto the right-hand side, that's got over the bar. This game has finally come to life. There's just a point between the teams, and that's Declan Pilkington's first score of the match. Jer Coughlin, good positioning. Went in behind his centre-half back. Red to danger signals. It's an understanding that they forge with Mark Corrigan over there over the...
past ten years and what an exciting decade it's been for Offaly Hurley. John Pilkington, the taker. It's well cut in. Of course, Michael Dyke. Operating at full forward. Joachim Kelly on the 45 metre line, dodging round to Jer Penalty. Teeing himself up with a shot and he's put it over the bar. Sheer persistence paying off for Joachim Kelly and the sides are level. The equaliser comes in the 25th minute. The referee is sure to add some time on for the stoppages we had in the last few minutes. Just three minutes to go on my watch, but that will be probably nearer to five. Jer Coughlin out towards Joe Dooley. Beaten for it by Jer Fennelly today. Hoping to lead by example from the middle. Danny Owens annoyed that time by the linesman's decision. He thought it should be an awfully ball. And here that looked to be the case as well. And he's changed the... the linesman has changed his mind. An awfully ball and Joe Dooley's going to be the one to take it. Remember, it's Kilkenny 1-3, awfully six points, the sides level. Lovely cut in, cross towards Declan Pilkington, off the legs that time of John Henderson. Breaks down towards Jeff Fennelly. John Pilkington just feeding it out towards Joachim Kelly. The dashing midfielder tries to turn inside, foul as he was doing so. Referee allows him an advantage to Joe Dooley. Barring substitution yet. He picked up an eye injury against Leash, wasn't available to start the match, but how he's making his presence felt now. Liam Egan. And certainly Offaly have taken over at midfield. Michael Dignan now operating at full forward against Pat Dwyer. Mick Clear. Kilkenny were last champions two years ago. Offaly remember the defending champions. Martin Hannity waits and lets Aiden Fogarty, who celebrated his 31st birthday on Friday last, take that one out as far as Joe Dooley. Pat Dwyer under the dropping ball, nice clean catch with the left hand and a good rapid delivery down towards Liam McCarthy, now operating at top of the right. A run inside here by Liam McCarthy, plenty of support. Liam Fennelly's unmarked away to his left and they can spot him. High but wide. Kilkenny sixth wide. His first chance since coming on as a sub. Adrian Ronan has been brought out left half forward and Martin Hanami has gone out to mark him. Pat Dwyer beaten this time. John Henderson off balance. Mark Corrigan trying to pick up the pieces. A low shot. Oh! doing well and that half time they lead by four points Kilkenny's goal came from Liam Fennelly after 19 minutes but Mark Corrigan's vital one came on the call of half time half time score Offaly 1-7 Kilkenny 1-3 worth taking a look at again that Offaly goal it really emphasizes their no-nonsense approach to the game and their spirit of all for one and one for all John Henderson off balance and Corrigan reading the game so well. Remember, he got a fine goal against Leash as well, and that's another this afternoon. It's as you were at midfield, and Liam Egan continues to mark Joachim Kelly, and that's been a very demanding task this afternoon as John Pilkington fires in that opening shot down towards the forwards. Pilkington once again with Jer Fennelly. Great Kilkenny stalwart up towards... Anthony Prendergast breaks down to Richie Parr, trying to get Kilkenny motoring smartly early on, and he's done so. A point for Richie Parr. That's cut back the leeway now to just three points. Good deep puck out by Jim Troy. Down to Joe Dooley, read it very well, went right across the line. Mick Clear follows from near the sideline. 
and it's tailed away off his first wide of the second half. Well, the match took so long to come to life in the first half, let's hope it won't be that long in the second half before we see some really good scores. Martin Hanami. Declan Pilkington stopped by Sean Fennelly. Whipped back into the off the half back line. Pat Delaney standing firmly with Martin Hanami blocked down on this occasion by Liam Egan. Adrian Rowland follows up. A good shot and it's gone over the bar. A third point by Adrian Rowland. Now playing at left half forward. He'll really be trying to stamp his authority on this match now. Pat Delaney. John Pilkington down towards Michael Dignan. Michael Clear getting it back out for Kilkenny. Pat Delaney playing up the left hand but not able to hold on to it. It's Joachim Kelly who comes to his rescue, batting it on to the totally unmarked. John Pilkington will turn and drive it inside if he can. Half knocked down by John Parr. Declan Pilkington, his brother, coming out with John Henderson. John Parr there too. Kilkenny's right half back. Joachim Kelly once again fouled on this occasion, standing in the breach. Read it so well, anticipated perfectly, and he was ready to play on, you can see there. He wasn't looking for the free. He'd have been far happier, I'm sure, if he had been able to take an advantage. Joachim, who's been part of a great Offaly success story, which we must remember was all started by Dermot Healy, the team manager, who this afternoon manages Kilkenny. Joe Dooley has taken over the free-taking from a good distance out. Batted down, awaited. Inside there was uh, Kevin Fennelly. Out once again by Ger Fennelly to the waiting Ger Coughlin. The full-back calls, but it's Michael Dignan who makes a super catch. Inside to Mark Corrigan, it's a goal! A second goal for Corrigan! Nine minutes into the second half, and it's a second goal for Mark Corrigan of Offaly. Offaly fans celebrating early stages yet, but it came from Jerk Coughlin's lob after Kevin Fennelly had played it out initially. Watch for a super leap by Michael Dagnan. The release down inside to Corrigan. And he rattled the back of the net. And as we watch the replay, I can tell you that John Pilkington has put over another score, another point for Offaly. Well, now it's really going to test the mettle of the Kilkenny men. Christy Heffernan, who was a flu victim, we were telling you early on, and not feeling exactly 100%. A lovely catch by Roy Mannion, one of the former star miners, out towards Liam Egan. Himself a fine underage player. Inside, towards Liam McCarthy. Got a stick to it, nobody able to link up with him. They waited, the defence seemed to freeze. And reacting fastest of all was Pat Delaney. A centre-half back gets his clearance out near the far sideline. And they claim it over there in Vincent Tian and Sean Fennelly claim it might be their ball, but it's going to be an awfully one. Martin Hanami with Pacho Wheelahan there, the team manager, giving him a word of encouragement, cutting it up. Stopped by Michael Clear, defiantly at centre-half back. Into the space, Jerk Coughlin reading it perfectly. What a marvellous left half-back this fellow is. And Martin Hanami now at right half-back, following Adrian Ronan everywhere. Down towards uh, Michael Dignan, making quite a job at full forward. Mark Corrigan waiting for Dignan to come forward. Going inside, turning neatly inside, John Parr, still Dignan. Into the path of uh, Declan Pilkington, first half blocked down. A second chance, and it's going to be a 65, the game's first. And all of that, 12 minutes into the second half. Pat Delaney, who's done well at centre-half back, up to take the 65, a big one. Well, it tails to the left. Offaly's third wide of the half, they're 11th and all. He's done a very good job at centre-half back, in a man-to-man -man marking job there against Richie Parr. Here he is challenging. Breaks down to Martin Hanami, elects to kick it with the left boot, down towards Declan Pilkington. Breaks down to his brother John. A little tap inside, finding Joe Dooley. Getting there ahead of Mick here on this occasion. High, and it's over! Dooley's second points, it's coming on. The Offaly flags raised in celebration. It's Offaly, two goals and ten points. Kilkenny, one goal and six.
Kilkenny still with plenty of time if they're good enough. This is Liam Egan across towards Liam McCarthy. Anthony Prendergast, the 26-year-old, trying to get it inside, hasn't scored so far. Jer Coughlin, fouled by Liam McCarthy and a free out which will do awfully very nicely indeed. And certainly it's been a combination of the old guard, Mark Corrigan, Joachim Kelly, Jer Coughlin, Eugene Coughlin and Pat Delaney, who certainly have backboned a fine awfully performance this afternoon. Here's Troy. Bill Hennessy, now doing a one-to-one -one marking job on Mark Corrigan. John Pilkington, the sideline cut in towards Declan. Out by Mick Clear. Liam Egan in a clash of the ash with Joachim Kelly. A nice little tap-up by Mark Corrigan, who's been very, very economical in his style and use of the ball. And lethal with his finishing. Vincent Tien outside the 45 middle line half. Oh, foul on that occasion, he's put it over the bar. Vincent Tien's first score. And once again, the tricolour raised in celebration. And Dermot Healy there wants to bring the referee's attention to something. He wants to make a change, I think. And the referee, John Denton, isn't too pleased to see the Kilkenny manager on the field. But the Kilkenny man wanted to make a switch and he's put Jeff, Jeff Fennelly now into the half-forward line. That's come out nicely towards Tom O'Keefe. Here's Liam McCarthy on his left-hand side, inside towards Adrian Ronan. Effective when he gets inside, they need a goal! It's stopped brilliantly by Troy! Oh, that's a really fine save at a critical time of the match. A goal there would surely have put Kelly right back into it. That is a superb save, and what a good run out of defence by Aidan Fogarty. Stopped, however. Ger Fennelly, hand passing it inside, one handed away by Martin Hanavy. Back down to Richard Parr, operating at midfield in a switch with Ger Fennelly. Sean Fennelly here. Well, if Offaly win this match, I think they'll put down that save by Jim Troy after 20 minutes as one of the turning points. It was a superb reflex save. Jerk Coughlin once again, concise in everything he does, and John Pilkington lifts the danger signals down towards Declan Pilkington. Bill Hennessy, here's Richie Parr. Liam McCarthy, who stopped the ball that time. Roy Mannion. And a Kilkenny sideline ball. 13 minutes to go. 2 12 for Offley. 1 7 for Kilkenny. Bill Hennessy's cut. Towards Christy Heffernan. He gets it in the hand. Kilkenny needing a goal. They may get a penalty. They do. Christy Heffernan doing what he does so well. Taking that ball in kind of Tony Doran fashion. It came from the sideline, cut from Bill Hennessy. Up went Big Christie, advanced inside the 20 metres. Thou shalt not go any further. Penalty. It'll be Adrian Ronan who'll take it. He's got five points to date. His side, eight points behind. 12 minutes remaining. Kilkenny needing a goal. It's stopped by Jim Troy, magnificently. Oh, what great goal giving. Jim Troy, an awfully hero. Joe Dooley. Bill Hennessy under pressure. Declan Fogarty trying to advance. That will have given Offaly renewed heart and renewed determination as well. Joe Dooley now will try to capitalise. He's put it over. Dooley gets another point. Three and all he scored. When Offaly might well have conceded a goal from the penalty at the other end. Martin Hanamy down to Joachim Kelly. Sweeping clearance down to Michael Dagnan. Great catch. Going through again. Linking up. It's another goal for Mark Corrigan. Three goal. Mark Corrigan the hero. Five minutes in.
to the second half. And the Offaly fans can scarcely believe this. And once again, it was Michael Dagner with a superb catch. What a move that's been, moving him into full forward. He tried it across with the hand to Mark Corrigan. It's goal number three for Mark. Well, this is a day of days for Offaly so far. Every one of them a hero. What a memorable ten years it's been. They'd never won an Ulster title, a Leinster title, until 1980. Christy Heffernan once again. The low shot, it's a goal! A goal by Christy Heffernan, keeping them in touch. With nine minutes remaining. Well, Jim Troy, who was performing heroics, was expecting, I think, a blasting shot. Instead, it was low, and it deceived the goalkeeper. Bill Hennessy once again from the sideline ball. Christie made the run, got it down from the break of the ball that time from Liam McCarthy. Watched as the defence went across to the left-hand side. Troy was isolated. It's the first goal for Christie Heffernan. Hennessy once again. Again, it's Christie Heffernan. How he's coming into the match more and more. Liam McCarthy. They go for another goal. It's a point. What a dramatic second half this is turning out to be. Liam McCarthy's first score since coming on as a sub in the first half. You may have caught a quick shot there of Babs Keating in the crowd, the Tipperary manager, an interested spectator here this afternoon. Pat Delaney towards Declan Pilkington. John Pilkington waiting for that ball to come out. The referee deciding not to throw the ball in, but allow play to continue. It comes down to Joe Dooley, looking for a rapid reply. It's put it wide. Both sides have been uncannily accurate in the second half. Offaly in particular, only four wides. Liam McCarthy with a low pick-up. What a great Leinster Championship match this has now turned out to be. Kilkenny trying to bridge the gap even more. Liam McCarthy. Stopped by Joachim Kelly. Back there in his own full back line. Awfully know you'll never have a Kilkenny side beaten until the final whistle sounds. That's McClear. That's a point. The centre half back has cut back the leeway even more. And now the margin is just seven points. Christy Heffernan says to the others, come on, we can do it yet. Jim Troy's puck out. The first 15 minutes of this match, they were playing almost at snail's pace. But how it's picked up now, fiercely competitive. John Henderson. Against Mark Corrigan, the three-goal hero for Offaly. Bill Hennessy to Ger Fennelly. They're playing with renewed spirit now, Kilkenny. Ian Fennelly almost getting onto that one. It goes off a defender. 65. Kilkenny in a hurry. McClear the taker. In towards Liam Fennelly. Touchdown, Liam McCarthy. It's a goal! A goal by Liam McCarthy! It's just a four-point game. From that 65, McCarthy picking it up, rounding the defender, beating Roy Mannion and Jim Troy. Hurling, which needed a shot in the arm after last week's Munster final, is getting it in the second half. Six goals so far. Kilkenny looked well and truly out of it just a little while ago. Often we were already celebrating, but John Henderson and his colleagues had other ideas. Adrian Ronan. Well, a four-point lead is scarcely a lead in hurling. Five minutes to go, what a last five minutes it should turn out to be. Roy Mannion standing defiantly in his own end line, but it comes out as far as Richie Parr. Low, hard, stopped once again by Roy Mannion, who made some good ground to get across there to cover. Gathering it well. Soloing away from Liam McCarthy, Kilkenny's goal scorer just a few minutes ago. Added to there by Declan Pilkington. 
Ger Fennelly high into the air. Joachim Kelly and Eugene Cotlin under it with Liam Egan. It's Cotlin who gets it. Opting to kick it into the centre. John Pilkington half hits it. Vincent Tian trying to take it away. Offley trying to seal this match with another score or two. That's one. Vincent Tian getting his second point. The margin once again, five points. Kevin Fennelly poised, ready to take the puck out. Kilkenny, who this afternoon seek a 53rd Leinster win. Adrian Ronan challenging over there with Martin Hanami. And in one-to-one -one situations like that, Hanami has been particularly strong and unyielding. Sean Fennelly sideline cut for Kilkenny. To the fingers of Christy Heffernan. On to Liam McCarthy, however. Once again trying to engineer a goal. It's out to Liam Fennelly. It's another one! A fourth goal for Kilkenny. A second for Liam Fennelly. What an epic second half. This is reminiscent of some of the fabulous Leinster Championship finals in the 70s. Then it was Kilkenny and Wexford. Now it's Kilkenny and Offaly. And Sean Fennelly, who remember those great matches, got that one in as far as Liam McCarthy. Fed the totally unmarked Liam Fennelly, who got goal number two for himself. Two points the difference. Offaly still the leaders. Still hanging on. John Pilkington. Stopped by Kevin Fennelly, assured in his clearance as well, out to midfield. Michael Dagnan has now come away from the full forward position, operating now around left half forward, inside, to Johnny Pilkington, trying to link up with his brother Declan, does so successfully. A fresh air puck, however, time ticking away. On my watch, two and a half minutes remaining. Remember, Kilkenny trailed by two points. Michael Dagnan looking for another Offaly score. Well, it's a titanic clash. Offaly with Mark Corrigan. And it's over the bar. The Offaly captain puts a little bit more daylight between the teams. He's now got three goals and seven points. What an incredible tally. Christy Heffernan. How Kilkenny must now be ruined. First of all, the great stop by Jim Troy. And after that, the penalty save. John Henderson with the sunlight in his eyes. Kilkenny backs to the wall. 20 seconds to go on my watch. John Henderson still. Good run by Henderson. Stopped by Pat Delaney. Comes back to Paddy Corrigan. Towards his brother Mark. Four, nine for off for Kilkenny. 3.15 for Offaly. Richie Power to the unmarked Jeff Fennelly. This looks like being Kilkenny's last chance. Can they ensure a goal here? Liam Fennelly will be quite a hero. To Ronan. The backs get back quickly. It breaks out to Liam Egan. The shot. It's wide. 30 seconds into injury time. For just a moment there, there seemed to be a glimmer of hope for Kilkenny. Jim Troy realising that we're well into injury time. His side ahead by three points. In what's been a titanic Leinster final, and it's all over. Leinster champions offering retain their title with a three-point win over Kilkenny. So many heroes. Joachim Kelly was one of them. Jeff Fennelly there, rather disappointed, losing the Leinster final. But well, what an amazing clash it turned out to be in the second half. It ends. Offaly the winners, three goals and 15 points. Kilkenny, four goals and nine. So many memorable moments. And Mark Corrigan there, the player who got three goals and seven points. Offaly, the Leinster champions for the sixth time ever. What a 1980s it's been for them. And so Jack Boothman presents the cup, the Bob O'Keefe Cup, to Mark Corrigan, the three-goal hero, following Offaly's display of sheer courage, class and commitment.
utterly deserving champions in Leinster. Ah, yes, indeed, a great win for Offaly there, and of course now also into the All-Ireland semi-final against Antrim on August the 6th. Well, right now we're going to take a commercial break, but after that we'll have our match. Hurling final with me at Croke Park today. Nicholas, it was a poor enough game, a great finish, mind you, to it. Uh, although, having said it was a poor game, I suppose that's debatable if you come from Offaly. Yeah, it was a very, very strange game. The opening period it was very, very bad, and the standard was bad. And then Offaly improved and got on top completely. And then, of course, in the last 10 minutes, you had Kilkenny starting a comeback. Yeah. But I think overall, Offaly deserved to win, and it would have been a travesty if Kilkenny had to have caught him in the end. Well, certainly a marvellous performance from them in their 10th final in a row, but I must say over the opening uh, stages of the game, certainly in the first 20 minutes, half an hour of it, neither side uh, looked like potential Leinster champions out of that. Yeah, I think in the opening 20 minutes, both teams were very, very uneasy and they were not able to control the ball and their striking was very, very bad. And I think both teams were obsessed with picking and soloing with the ball. And if you watch Vincent T in here, he gets plenty of chances to hit it. And it's... He's really going nowhere. It's, it's, the play is very, very slow. And this was... It's not a scrappy play in the, right. the first half in particular. This is indicative of what was going on. Lee Megan for Kilkenny and Joachim Kelly in the midfielders. They were solo in a lot with the ball. And the ball was generally going nowhere. Well, then as the game went on, most people before the match would have expected, I think, Kilkenny perhaps to have won this game. But as the match went on, it was Offaly who got that vital grip on things. Yeah, I think Offaly assumed complete control after about 20 minutes. I think, unfortunately for them, Dahi Regan had to go off. He was injured, but Joe Dooley came on. And Joe's a different type of player, and he played better. Mm -hmm. I think they were completely on top in the backs. All their old guard, Pat Delaney, Joachim Kelly... They were all Men playing very well. For a long time. Very, very well. Yeah, Eugene Coughlin and had I think a great they, game as they well. decided to let the ball off a bit sooner. Yeah. And they were giving an awful lot better service to their forwards in the second half. They'd cut out the solo run. And I think here you see the fruits of that. Michael Dyden with a great catch mm -hmm. and a fine finish from Mark Corrigan. And I think that when they started to let the ball go sooner, they got completely on top. So then, something like 10 minutes, I think 13 minutes left in the game. Offaly were leading by something around eight points. We thought it was all over. And then came this big Kilkenny revival, and I can tell you there was a lot of weak hearts amongst the Offaly people around Croke Park yeah. at that stage. I think with about 10 minutes to go, Offaly were 11 points in front, and they were seemingly in an unstable position. And the next thing, Kilkenny got a soft goal. I think Jim Troy won't like to, be, like to watch this again, and he'd get a bit of slagging over, but he, had, he brought off some tremendous saves. And whether it was lack of concentration or tiredness on Offaly's part, they allowed Kilkenny to come back into it. And Kilkenny got three goals in those last 10 minutes. Lee McCarthy had a big influence in those last 10 minutes. He had, Ryan Mannion had been playing very, very well. And then Lee McCarthy got a goal and he made two goals for Kilkenny in that 10 minute period. However, it wasn't to be for Kilkenny. Offaly steadied themselves again. I think, as we said, uh, all around a deserved win for Offaly. I think so, yeah. Is it an Offaly man you picked as your man of the match? It wasn't a very easy job to pick man of the match today because there were some great performances on the Offaly side in particular. Um, Eugene Coughlin was outstanding full back. Martin Hennemey had a great game. Jerk Coughlin had a great game. In the middle of the field, I thought Joachim Kelly was great, but I picked his man of the match, Mark, Cor Mark Corrigan. Mm -hmm. He scored he three goals and seven points. And I think it came down to a choice between himself and Joachim Kelly. And I suppose I could be accused of giving it to a forward because he scored three goals and seven points. But when you think of him scoring that amount and to think that Joachim Kelly was in the running with him, it just shows you how well Joachim Kelly played as well. Sure, a great performance by Mark Corrigan. Mark, of course, one of uh, those Offaly men who've been around for uh, all of those uh, 10 Leinster finals. And uh, well done indeed to Mark. Nicholas, thank you very much for the moment. We will be back to you a little bit later on. We have a few things to talk to you about. But the big talking point, though, uh, after the Connacht football semi-final...